just start over and start talking. If you and if you want to turn towards me, you can a little bit. I'm just going to talk directly to okay. you and let it record. Perfect. Go for it. Okay, tell me everything. Okay. Well, first of all, I remember I had an idea based on using the Dan Electro guitar to play the first few chords and notes of the famous song Summertime. So I was going to go in and, re and record Summertime. So I had the band there. I have Daniel there. I have the other Joe Vitale there. I have Glenn Fukunaga there. And I tell them all this. And they're like, just begin it and we'll see where we go. And uh, instead of giving a 30 second to one minute track, we ended up with four minutes and 11 seconds of some of the most mesmerizing music I have ever heard in my life. And I mean this literally. It's the kind of thing, even though I was playing the Dan Electro, and I did pretty good on it, by the way. <laughs> I was playing the Dan Electro, and, and not knowing where I was going, I could feel that there was something coming together. It's what they call the pocket. We're all in the pocket. Right. And then when we're done, I got, I got chills on me now thinking about it. It was like, oh my God, this is not summertime. This is beyond summertime. This is a mesmerizing track. And then Daniel, for whatever reason, he's getting inspired and he asked Glenn, he says, why don't you take this ukulele go, and go in there and play over it? And I'm like, a ukulele over that track? That's not gonna work. But I was asking the bass player to just, do it. <laughs> just trust, just trust, just let go. Divine inspiration was coming to Daniel. Glenn goes in there and he starts playing that ukulele in this hypnotic minor key note picking pattern. I, yeah, I was electrocuted. I, Frickin' was electrocuted listening to this thing. He goes, he does it for the whole four minutes, and I swear we were all going, oh my God, from that track. We now have a four minute, 11 second track that is just mesmerizing to listen to. Oh, we're not done though. So the other Joe, right, Joe Vitale, who's got all these skills, 50 years experience, he's been doing it since he's a little kid, tries all kinds of things to add to the track. And he says, the track won't take anything else. He says, all at once is your voice. Oh, man. And he left it with me. And I started to get the idea of what I can do. That night when I was driving home, I was so inspired. I was getting this, this narration that I can put over the track. And I turned on my iPhone and I was recording it so I wouldn't lose it. This, I, this was going to be an instrumental though, right? This was going to be purely an instrumental. Oh, so this was just completely brought in. This is all divine. This is all okay. inspiration. So uh, I recorded what I had so I wouldn't lose it. The next day I wrote some of the stuff down. And I didn't know if I'd see Daniel yesterday or not, but I said, you know, I have to come in because I got to record these narration, this lyrics, this hypnotic what, empowerment uh, language over that track we did. So I walk in and I'm totally confident. I told him, I said, Daniel, put the track on, just start it playing. And at one minute and 11 seconds into it, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what tempo, I know what rhythm, I know I'm, I'm there. That's awesome. And I uh, put the headphones on, I'm in front of the mic, he starts it up, I go through it. And when we're done, he said, oh my God. That is done, it is one take. He says, I'm not gonna do anything to it, it is finished. And we listened to it back and I said, Daniel, send the track to me because I want to listen to it every day. I'm, I swear to God, every time you listen to this, it empowers you to feel superhuman. Mm. I, I mean, I listened to it this morning. I was feeling we had to get up like five in the morning. The rest of it had to go off to Austin. I have all kinds of things going on. I got a photo shoot going on over here after you leave. Lots going on. And I'm thinking, man, I'm dragging. And I thought, put on that empowerment track, which is now called Empowerment. Oh, I like it. All right. Yeah. I put on the empowerment track. I listened to it. I turned it way up. And I'm starting to feel like I'm sitting taller. I got all kind of energy. It's like, bring it on. I'm ready for anything. And uh, that's what I want to play for you here. Oh, please. <laughs> you just have to turn off that. Now. Oh, we don't. they don't get to hear it? Nope. They don't get to hear it because this is the unmixed, the whole thing. It will be on. Sorry about that. It's going to be on the, the strut. Or not the the CD that's called The Healing Song, and that'll be out in August or September, probably August. Oh, okay. So it'll be cut on that. You get to listen to it now. All right. <laughs>